welcome to Creative Crafticality. This is Kim and today I have my very first loaded envelope that I made for a swap on one of my Facebook groups. This was supposed to be a spring loaded envelope and I tried to include my partner's favorite colors and a couple of them are blue and green so I used some spring green and some light blue here but I also incorporated pink and a little bit of yellow into it. So let's go ahead and unpack this loaded envelope. There are four pockets in here. Well, actually five. There's one on the back. There are two in the center here and then two in the front. So to start off, I made two tags. This one I use basil cardstock. I use a scrap for my stash. I used cupcake liners for the back of the rosette, and that was from the Daiso store. Then I used some basil paper here to make a rosette to go on top, and I topped it off with the silver charm I had in my stash and a green brad, and tied it off with some Ofre ribbons at the top here. And then this one was using some paper from Colorbok, some ribbon I had in my stash, some washi tape from the Dollar Spot, spring, the spring collection for this year. And if you want to see more of that, I have a Dollar Tree haul on my YouTube channel that I'll link below. And then this was a piece that I cut out of a Bella Boulevard 12 by 12 sheet. And then a flower for my stash and another silver piece in brad. And then this was some lace from the Daiso store and some other ribbon I had in my stash. And then also in this middle pocket, I packaged some goodies up. This is just some ribbon that I wound around a piece of cardboard here. And then I made some paper clips from some pinwheels that I found at the dollar spot at Target and attached them to a piece of card um, cardstock that I cut from a Bella Boulevard paper and then topped it. And this was a sticker from the Bella Boulevard collection. And then also down in there, I have this wood bunny pin and this was actually a pin that I found at a thrift store, but it was from a craft show, I think. But I just attached it to a piece of card chipboard in there and then topped it. And then also inside one of the middle pockets, I made two wands, one rosette wand with some tissue paper and then a Daiso cupcake liner and then this was a sticker from the Bella Boulevard spring collection. I used these straws and they were from the Dollar Tree and some ribbons here that I attached. This is Ofre and that was in my stash. And then my other wand, I made a pinwheel and it was from the color box paper that I glued together on each side and then I put in a pom-pom there. And then I glued some ribbon. This was ribbon I had in my stash also. And then I used a needle with a large head and I used basically so went right through the pom-pom and hung a pom-pom down there with some rick rack. And then I attached just with some glue, hot glue here, a wood tag that I found at Walmart. And then inside this, one of the front pockets, I packaged up this really cute lamb rubber stamp, and that was from the dollar spot at Michael's, or one in the dollar bins. And then I also found a pin at the Daiso store, and I attached a little bit of ribbon at the top. And then lastly in this pocket is some washi tape that I bought at the Daiso store. And then there's a little front pocket here that I put a little bag of buttons. And these were from the Daiso store. I just added a little topper 
and a paper clip, or actually it's a, a clothes pin. And this clothes pin was from the dollar spot at Target. I just glued, hot glued on some flowers that I had in my stash. And then lastly, I made a paper clip from this little uh, fabric bunny. And this was a bunny that I found that was from a craft show. So I made a paper clip out of that. And then in, on the back, I just tucked in a couple goodies. These were some spring tags from the dollar spot at Target and also some spring clothespins from the dollar spot at Target. And these are also in my dollar spot Target haul that I will link down below. So I wanted to show you the base of the envelope here. I started off with this 12 by 12 paper and just did a fold, three folds up, but then to add a bigger pocket in the front here, I added a gusset on two gussets here, and then also a small gusset on the back, so there was just a little bit more space. And then on the front here, I used some paper from Colorbach. It's there's two pieces there, and then I added some ribbon here and some white crocheted lace here that was from Joann's and then I had some little fiber trim here that I found in my stash and then I put on top of that some layered flowers with a silver flower here and a couple brads and then this little cute little spring frog was from the Bella Boulevard collection and then I made this tiny little bow it looks like my rhinestone got moved over in the drying process. I'm going to have to fix that. But I made a tiny little bow with a Fiskars bow maker. And then up in the middle here, I, punch, I punched out two holes on each side and made a little tie. And my corners that are folded back, I attached with little bunny brads. On the inside, I put a layered paper back here that was from Colorbach, made another pocket here with paper from Colorbach, and then used some of the Dollar Spot lace washi tape. And then on my back pocket, I used more of the Colorbach papers. I used, this was I believe from the Dollar Spot a while back, this washi tape. Then I put some pink lace trim that was from the Daiso store and made a bow out of a Bella Boulevard paper and topped it with a rhinestone in the middle. And then here I just used a sticker and this was from a Doodlebug Design sticker sheet, spring sticker sheet. So I just matted it on some pink basil paper and then put some little flower brads in the four corners. So I hope you liked my first loaded envelope and I hope it gives you some inspiration for your spring loaded envelopes. These are so much fun to make and to send and then I can't wait to see the loaded envelope I get from my swap. So I hope you liked it. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.